Hello, I'm going to do a review on the Amsoil Quick Shot today. Uh, this product right here, it's uh, one of those products that uh, it's not a major seller of ours. It's you know not on the top 20 list, but it's one of those products that it it should be because it's one of those products that gets excellent results uh, when it's used. In fact, I've been getting some uh, recent testimonials, so that's why I decided to do this video right now. To start off, this product, uh, it was highlighted at the uh, SEMA, 2011 SEMA, uh, in it, I don't know if you can see it with the glare. Uh, let's see, there we go. And it actually made product of the year. So that's pretty significant right there. Because the product does three things, but real quick, just a little funny thing around here. When you introduce the product, you know what they do is they everybody buys the PI for their car, the performance improver. Let me see if I got a picture of that here. The uh, ah, here we go. The Amsoil PI. This is the fuel injector cleaner for cars, and they say, can I use this in my Harley or small engines, mowers, that type of thing? You know, Amsoil. Their answer to that is no. It's not designed for that, and we have a product that's perfect for that because small engines have uh, different issues and this product addresses those issues so the quick shot uh, the three things that it does and here's where the hang up happens I'll say um, and, it, and it depends on which order I list these I'll say well it fights problems caused by ethanol it cleans of course, it cleans out all the carbon just like the PI the intake valves if you fuel injectors if you have that uh, choke areas, carbureted systems, uh, the fuel system, and then it preserves the fuel. So you got that gas can hanging around the garage. You definitely want this in there so the fuel, you don't have that evaporative process leaving behind varnish that causes gum prob gumming up and uh, fuel line problems, all that. So after I say that, I say it more brief than that, but uh, they'll say, oh, well, I don't run ethanol. I don't use ethanol. Because uh, whether or not you use uh, ethanol, you're still going to have uh, issues like this uh, valve deposits combustion uh, carbon like that uh, this is very typical like this picture you see right here very typical I've taken apart a lot of engines air-cooled engines especially and you gotta put this on a uh, wire wheel to clean it up um, one thing causes a problem for the fuel air mixture and when you do that there's uh, performance issues and fuel economy issues and then at the worst the fuel gets absorbed by that carbon and that later uh, evaporates off causing pre-detonation problems in fact I think that's yeah this uh, if you have time go to amsoil.com look up the G2543 and that's this it's an eight page study that shows all sorts of issues that these dirty valves will cause and how the PI solves that problem. So the PI in a car, I, I personally actually had a car that got 50 more miles out of a tank after running it through. So that shows the, the issues with the uh, fuel injectors that it caused, or maybe even the valves or the quench area as seen here. But the quick shot, it handles all that, plus it has the ethanol feature and it also has the stabilizer. The PI, the stabilizer is not necessary because you're driving your car and that just, it's not an issue on a, on, a, on a daily driver. The testimonial that I just got the other day, and you can find more on the website, but we had a customer come in here and he's been using the motorcycle octane boost and he says, while it works great, uh, and this guy rides a lot, he said uh, in the last year he's had an issue where it, it just, the bike doesn't want to go over 90 miles per hour. It runs really rough over 90 miles per hour. So he finally ran the quick shot, and the first thing he said to me, he says, oh yeah, the quick shot does, did a lot more than the octane boost. The octane boost had its function, but the quick shot solved a major problem. He says now it runs, it doesn't stumble over 90 miles per hour. And uh, with mowers and small engines, chainsaws, two cycle or four stroke, over time that buildup causes similar issues with performance, especially with startup, cold temperatures, and uh, and then the more you store it away, the longer it's stored away, it just gets worse. So the Quick Shot, again, it's one of those products that's designed to uh, prevent those issues. But if you got a, a bike or a power sports uh, engine that you really love, give it a try. It's very cost effective. 
This court here is the best way to buy it. When you buy the court, especially if you're a preferred customer or you just call us on the phone, in fact, here's our website here, um, synthetic or oilordering.com. You see the uh, phone number up here, order line. But the best way to buy this product is in the court because it's like buying four of the eight ounce bottles, but, but are actually only paying for three. So this one here does up to 48 gallons, uh, 12 or 24 gallons for a cleanup. And the best way to explain that is if you look at the eight ounce bottle on the back, it actually says treats. Uh, and it's for two and four stroke engines. It treats uh, six gallons for cleanup and 12 gallons for continued protection. So you would put it in there at six to clean up and then those cans that sit in the garage or the bike that you're not riding this week, put it at the half mixture or the uh, snow blower, any of those things. So that fuel is ready to use when you pull it out into service again. So that's one of those things on that ethanol issue. A lot of people get hung up, well, I don't use ethanol. Well, in some towns, it's not. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be labeled. In fact, uh, a couple of years ago, I read if the city size is over 400,000, 400,000 population, uh, when they took the MTBE out of the fuel, they put ethanol in as an oxygenate. So that was put in at a, at a base level just to replace that, and that's not on the 10% stickers or whatever the grade is. Uh, that doesn't have to be labeled. Another thing here, here's a neat little article I found Amsel's blog, they featured a Jay Leno article, why, is, why Jay Leno is Angry About Ethanol and Gasoline. And uh, I'll repost this on my website too, but uh, here it is right here. If you read this, these two paragraphs right here, there we go. It says, when ethanol bonds with moisture, it sinks to the bottom of the fuel tank, which you can actually see in this uh, shot right here. So that's the water line, okay? And, just like what it does in your carburetor or in the fuel lines itself, wherever it's sitting, it creates a whole host of problems including formation of gums, varnish, and other insoluble debris that can plug fuel uh, flow passages and negatively affect engine performance. Now, when it's pulled through the engine, it creates a lean burn situation. So, the pickup tube at the bottom of the tank, when you get that water to a certain amount, you make a quick turn and that water gets picked up, you've got a serious uh, issue, a lean burn for a, a good duration of time. Uh, not only that, but you're running that water with the alcohol sitting on top that it's separated. And if you have a carbureted engine um, or even a fuel injector that uses rubber hose, it, an older hose, it can gum that up and start dissolving it. We, you hear about that stuff all the time. So if you are running ethanol, treat everything with this. I know um, that uh, show the next bite they have featured these products I put the video on my website here uh, one of the guys talked about how his uh, trolling motors which he's always had or the bigger motors which he has idle problems the, the larger two-stroke engines running the quick shot through there with our Sabre Professional he runs them just like trolling motors they idle like they never have before now speaking of small engines uh, on four-stroke engines, this is another excellent product that uh, uh, is related to the quick shot because we're talking about keeping the intake uh, deposits down. We can take care of this twofold. You've got the uh, quick shot, of course, for your intake, but this Formula Four Stroke, this is a huge seller in my store. This this would be a top ten item, so I might as well throw it in there as well. The uh, there it is right there. The product code is actually ASE. I don't know if the uh, focus of the camera can see that. ASE, Alpha Sierra Echo. Every time, the last two times I've gone up to the Amsoil headquarters, Amsoil U, they've had in their test bench area a number of small engines. I think they're like backpack blower motors running at full RPM, 3,000 RPM for 70 hours. They run these tests. They usually run like the Honda Oil and other uh, associated uh, OEM products. What's interesting is the difference in deposits, as I as I show here on the screen, between uh, our oil and everybody else's. But the other thing that is not noted here is that uh, in the study, in, in all of the cases of the numerous engines that were used, oil consumption was significantly oh, sure. reduced. So with this product, I've had that 
uh, testimony of the most as far as lower oil consumption. Of course, people aren't tearing into their motors and seeing this type of thing. But uh, you can tell that this is going to extend um, service life there. But the oil consumption was significant. And just for the heck of it, I went to Amsoil's website. They now have reviews on there, and half the reviews do mention the oil consumption. So that's pretty, cons uh, pretty consistent there, too. So that concludes what we did want to talk about was the quick shot. And you can always give us a shout here at Oil Ordering, Synthetic Warehouse at 800 579 0580, but it's one of those products that uh, is very useful uh, with your AMSOIL arsenal. So, thanks again.